So if you're joining us for the first time, I just want you to know that the sound meditation can be quite energetic and it can bring up emotions, thoughts, memories, restlessness, joy, existential peace, <laughs> anything. It can trigger a lot of things, good and bad. Um, but just so you know that this is a very energetic meditation and you can trust your direct experience. So we will journey together. Hmm. So uh, headphones are recommended for this meditation and you can lie down if you'd like, uh, you can take this as a restful meditation and let go of all the inquiry and all the work aspect of it. Um, if you've been doing a lot of sitting in the day and a lot of work today, then you're welcome to just take this as a restful, a restful part of your day. And if you fall asleep, that's fully welcomed. And if you'd like to continue to inquire, you still have some more juice in your inquiry tank, then you can use this meditation for inquiry as well. It's really powerful for that. It's really powerful to support that. So you can just stay with whatever question that you're already working with or whatever emotion you're already processing and allow the sound and the healing of this energy to help support that process. Um, <coughs> or you can use directly the question what is sound where is sound and orient your attention specifically to sound so this type of meditation can be used in many different ways i just encourage you to find what makes sense to you what feels present for you now here in this moment letting go of all of yesterday and all of moments prior to this one and coming here into the heart space, into the belly space, or into the mind space. So I like to share that the mind space, the heart space, and the belly space are all energy centers, and they can all be expressing distortion or clarity. So there's not, there's not a certain way that you're supposed to be inquiring or a certain place in your body where you're supposed to be putting attention unless specifically directed in a meditation. So just feel in what is present for me right now and how do I hold that close? How do I hold that close to me Closing the gap of experience and experiencer. How can I trust what is present for me now? And we're not looking conceptually for an answer, though it may come in the form of words. Inviting you to tune your attention fully to the sound. Allowing the sound to guide you 
more fully into your present experience. You may take this meditation with your eyes closed or open. Play with the two options and see what feels right to you. Calling in all sound. Welcoming all cadence of sound, all volume, all quality. Feeling the warmth of sound. What is sound when you get really close to it? Where is sound when you let go of the map of location of the mind? Just see in order to hear sound from a certain location, you must imagine space and distance. But in the sound itself, is there distance or space?
allowing sound to replace you. when we take what feels like the experience or the sensation of that experience, what happens when we take it really close to the sound itself?
do you find there? What are we taking reference from when we say I, me,
surrender your effort here, now.
sound. There is only sound. Nothing more is needed. And this is precisely why you can't merge with sound. Sound is already everything. just sound hearing itself and even that is saying far too much drop your attention to your feet What's there? Right there.
whatever that means, just stay. Do not move your mind. Bringing attention up into your belly, filling the belly with air, slowly feeling the sensation of filling the belly in the front. The sides and giving adequate air to the back belly, holding for a second on the inhale, holding for a second on the exhale, Letting all the energy of air out. Staying with your breath and beginning to find movement in your body, your hands, your feet your shoulders, your knees, your hips, your neck and head, finding subtle movements, breathing deeply and slowly, taking your sweet time, coming back to sitting or standing, opening your eyes and allowing the colors the shapes of the visual field, allowing it to orient back into where we could never leave. You're welcome to share your experience with me. I always love reading your experiences. It's very sweet. And I appreciate you and I want to thank you deeply for going on this journey. It's a wild one, isn't it? <laughs> Namaste. Thank you to sound.
and thank you to Fiji and ginger almond butter that gave Violet's body the energy to be a musician tonight. <laughs> Don't forget to knock it off. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect almond butter. It's Fiji ginger. <laughs> Lauren gave it to me in the North Carolina retreat, and it is brilliant. I'm in love with it. It's very good with a nice apple. Hey, Stephen, a glimpse of no self. That's awesome. Violet's new microphone is much better. Yes. Thank you, Bob. I've worked really hard at that. I had two other microphones, and they were very professional, good microphones. They just weren't the right type of microphones. But this one is. So I'm happy to hear it. And it, this one can probably pick up the nuances of the bowls better. We can thank um, Angelo's videographer, Will, that was at North Carolina Retreat, for recommending this mic. Actually, the, the audio guy there recommended it, and then Will told me which specific one to get. But that was really helpful, because um, I'm not really good at understanding the tech stuff. Um, so I rely on the advice of those around me that do their research and know their stuff. I just want to show up and play. <coughs> nice. Hmm. Thank you guys. So beautiful to hear your experiences. Okay. Thank you and good night. All my love. Goodbye. <laughs>